This is like one of the most frustrating first person shooter experiences around right now. And the reason why it's so frustrating is because it could be so good, but it is just so terrible. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this push! Look, it's like you get like little glimpses of this that are amazing. And then you play the game and like the majority of it is just a nightmare to play. Oh boy. All right, guys, so it's about time I finally made a video discussing what we actually did to our MailSim servers, how to play them, a couple of tips, and how to even host these servers. So first off, what have we done to our MailSim portal experiences? Well, currently we have three experiences right now. We have Battlefield 3 Rush, we have 1942 Conquest, and we have the old gen version of Battlefield 3 Rush, which is essentially only 64 players. And what we've done to pretty much all of these is we've lowered the time to kill so that we have higher damage value so that you're not running and tanking a lot of shots in the open. We've completely removed the HUD for a really immersive experience and it just goes to show how beautiful this platform and this engine is when there's not a whole bunch of crazy stuff popping up in your screen. So a really immersive cinematic experience with that no HUD experience though there are a couple problems that come with this and we want to get fixed with DICE. Next we have vehicle rebalancing for Battlefield 3 Rush. We actually have a primarily infantry focused experience with some light and heavy armor for attackers to get them moving but for 1942 it is pretty much a one-to-one -one balance with the Germans having a heavier tank presence with their time and the Americans having the B-17 for some air superiority. We've also rebalanced a lot of the respawn times, whether that be for the vehicles or for the infantry, just to make sure that you're waiting for medics and actually working as a team and medicing people up. 1942 has squad revive, while Battlefield 3 has the normal defibrillator revive. And then we also have some faction weapon balancing. So what that basically means is that all the weapons and attachments for Battlefield 3 and for 1942 are faction specific. You're not going to see Americans running around with SCGs or Russians running around with M4 all the weapon platforms are accurate for their faction and we've limited optics for four times on battlefield 3 and giving the u.s a little bit of an optics advantage just because they have to fight against that defender's advantage but those are pretty much the experiences that we host right now and like i said before we are constantly updating and creating new experiences so if you want to stay up to date on the most accurate information for the servers make sure in the discord at discord.gg slash karma cut but anyways guys if you want to find the three servers that we're hosting they're always going to be named karma community milsim followed by the actual game mode type so that's either going to be battlefield 3 rush or it's going to be 1942 conquest so make sure you're looking up those words when you're trying to find a server have crossplay enabled because all of our servers are enabled with crossplay and friendly fire is not enabled on our servers not at this time and the main reason for that is because there is zero admin tools for managing intentional team kills so what that means basically is right now if you have friendly fire enabled anyone can log on to the server and just team kill endlessly there's no way to actually moderate that except for the server host and that's like kind of unacceptable for me so if you're on a server with friendly fire enabled it is not our server and you're playing on a fake server but those are the names of the servers. If you want to host any of these servers yourself, the three server codes for the active experiences that we have are on the screen right now. And just a reminder, name your server accurately. That's Karma Community Milsim and either 1942 Conquest or BF3 Rush so that others can find it and you can easily populate the server and everyone knows what they're playing. And as far as hosting servers, that's pretty much all you really need to know. And all the information, once again, is in Discord at discord.gg slash karmica. That's where you can get in touch with me about any suggestions you have, or if you're trying to help people pop your server, or, you know, get other experiences, or, like, party up with people and squad up. There's a whole bunch of people over there at the Discord, and also soon to be on the actual website itself at karmica.com. We'll have a full page for Battlefield 2042, where you can get all the up-to-date information cleanly over there as well. So once again, that's karmica.com and discord.gg slash karmica. With all the information out of the way i want to jump into a couple of tips because battlefield 2042's ui is absolutely garbage and the way that they have portal settings set up as far as attachments and not actually knowing what you're able to take there's a couple things you do need to know number one is attachments attachments need to be on the closest slot of your gun when you're in the customization screen because we do not have team menu enabled in the portal you must before you deploy right click your weapon and add the attachment you want to the closest section on your gun and just a reminder guys that there are certain weapons and attachments that are not available for balance and faction reasons okay so if you can't equip it you probably can't put it on one last tip i want to give you guys is the smoke launcher and how those are very important for attackers there's no smoke grenades yet in portal
portal, which is really annoying. But for attackers, if you're US and you're playing Battlefield smoke, Rush, though. one way you can utilize smokes really is by smokes. equipping a GL smoke to your medic class. So that's either going to be the M16 or the M416 and hitting X to fire off your three smoke GL rounds. And that's probably the two most asked questions that I get when I'm streaming is how do I equip attachments and how do I use smoke? Because those are so important and the UI just does not tell you anything. But with that out of the way, guys, I do want to give you guys my thoughts on Battlefield 2042 and Portal at the end here, just because I think it's important that you guys kind of get the scope of why I see Portal and Battlefield 2042 as such a huge game changer. I want to say one thing first. I by no means think Battlefield 2042 is worth your money at this time at full value. I think it was released broken. It feels half-baked and i would recommend a lot of you guys if you have not purchased it and 60 dollars is you know a decent chunk of money for you do not purchase 2042 until they fix or add in more features it is a half-baked game at this point in time i recommend that you wait either for a sale or until they fix a lot of these problems and add more content into portal before i believe that you can get your 60 dollars worth that being said if you have 60 dollars and you don't really care about it and you want to just throw it out there and you're bored and you want to play a new game a new experience our battlefield milsim experiences has pretty much been the oh only thing that i've been playing and i've been having a decent enough time on it so just take that with a grain of salt i really really want to see this game succeed because portal is so important it's really really powerful like i've talked about this before and a lot of people meme about it about bringing milsim quote unquote to battlefield but you have to remember that squad and project reality are both derived from battlefield 2 a lot of the games that we play the, these platoon shooters have heavy influences from battlefield itself and the ability to actually go in tweak modify and change things with portal is huge depending on how much dice will invest into this platform because this could be the new quote-unquote sdk or source development kit that brings us pr2 and actually gives us the ability to create a really realistic and milsim experience it's not there yet but i'm hoping and praying to god that they do not nuke portal and they continue to develop it because there is a slim an oh so slim possibility that we will be able to tweak portal to get a triple a quality game like battlefield with all of its amazing assets its amazing sounds and visuals to play like a milsim style shooter there's just the slimmest possibility and i really want to hold on to that hope and i'm praying that they don't drop the ball here but time will tell guys we're gonna do our best and i'm gonna keep developing our milsim servers until i see that there is actually no more potential left in the game and that's gonna be kind of my project or my pet project for the next little bit here so i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video like comment and subscribe if you want to keep up to date with all the immersive tactical shooters that i play now and we'll see what kind of trouble and cool things we can make in the portal and how much this will actually get supported in the future Thanks so much for watching, guys, and now sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of today's video. I don't know if I killed him or if the Vodnik did. Oh, this is intense. Yeah, this is the map to use the shotgun if there ever was one. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, God! Let's stop reloading! Bravo objective has been destroyed by the enemy. <laughs> you can't cancel reload. Oh my god. But unfortunately, there is none. That's a squad wipe. So people complain about the AN-94, but this thing slaps. Come and get your med kit. Oh, he's shooting me from under. Oh my god. Oh, we just lost this truck. I think we can save it in time. Enemies have taken out Alpha objective. 
objective. We must fall back. Both objectives have been destroyed. That's a lot of guys. Okay, I'm throwing a grenade. There's so many there. There's so many. I wish I had a 40 mic mic. Enemy taken out. The burst on this thing is so gnarly. Hello? Oh, good shot. That guy in the 240 lasered me. Let's try going around the low ground here. They added uh, Fortnite skins. Yeah, the fucking Battlefield Santa skin is so cringe, dude. I hear voices over here. Grenade out. I'm just gonna creep in the bushes here. I hear like a lot of voices down here. Asvidanya, bitch. Yeah, we're pushing them back. They're on the A side. I think I'm running out of ammo. See, people complain about this thing, but it's a two burst kill. It's, it's quite strong. How'd they get in? I feel like we have the building surrounded. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna lose A. I don't know how they got in A. That's crazy. Oh, well, that thing is cooking off. Let's, uh, let's swing back around to the right. We gotta hold B now. Here's someone driving up. Oh no, dude. Oh, he died. We should be able to hold this. I have full faith that we can hold this. Uh, okay. I don't want to get RPG'd in that thing. Yo, I gotta say, playing around in the woods here. A lot of fun. Man down. A lot of fun. I'm just hiding in the bush like a fucking gremlin, dude.
And 94s. Oh. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Where'd you go? I'm just... <laughs> I'm, I'm the spooky boy. <laughs> just... <laughs> Sitting in the grass. Here to ruin your day. Uh, we're getting shredded off of B. We need to get, actually get over there and play the objective. How do I blow this up? Oh, I just step on it. Oh my god. Alright, give up. Right, we're getting thinned down on B. We gotta get back over there. Do we have guys up there? We have so many guys up there in the tower. <laughs> oh god. That's friendly. Oh my god. Many guys. Bad guys. Americans. They're coming in. They got up to these medics up here. Here, medic. Thank you. I'm reloading. Oh, well. <laughs> the Amtrak's here. <laughs> and he's blowing everything up. <laughs> yeah, we switched the down system to crawl from downed. Uh, so you can crawl and it also removes kill cam, which is very nice. That's a Humvee rolling up hot. I'm gonna go up a floor. Oh, good shot, dude. Everyone's just hugging medics. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. We did it! Russians won! We won a defense. The, the beginning was absolutely brutal, but we, we ended up winning. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and as always, a special thank you to my channel members. If you want to get priority access to special gaming events and sessions, make sure you check out that blue join button down below. Also guys, just a reminder that you can buy any of the games I play and our merch at karmacut.com while supporting the channel directly. And just a reminder, if you are looking for people to buddy up with and play with, make sure you find your friends at discord.gg slash karmacut. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I do hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And until next time, good hunting out there.